When I was a real little kid, I used to box. Okay. And boxing would talk to jab. I used to like the peekaboo style of boxing. Yeah, it's a place called the Academy. They had a ring in there. And, uh, I used to love boxing when I was real little. I went from judo to boxing, basically. So, Jeb, a lot of uh, boxers pride themselves in snapping their fists back quicker than they snapping it out. So, they're, when they're jabbing, okay, they're, they're pulling their fists back quick. They might throw a few jabs, feeling you out, and then finish up. More powerful strike, you might jab, you know. Now, <clears throat> when someone's jabbing, we know they're going to pull their fist back here. We know what they're doing, so we're going to use that knowledge against them. Okay, I need someone out here that can uh, jab. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'll take the jaw, man. So, just <coughs> way. That. No, that's good. You, oh. you, I want you to just do a couple jabs first on him to pull oh. it back real quick. Okay, now notice he's pulling it back right here. So we're going to do a Nahanchi technique from here. So you watch Nahanchi, you're doing this. Now a little more advanced is if he was, say he was uh, punching and throwing a knee or something, okay, this is, you know, using the, the when you're using the foot in the hand. I usually don't get into that to the students who are with me for a while because kind of you gotta start feeling being able to speak the language really well before you can adjust low and high and do the depression set a lot. Um, but even this is devastating. So when he throws a jab, okay, you want to hook in here. He's gonna pull pull it back to your face. Okay. So he's bringing it into himself by snapping this back and forward. What we want to do is here. It pulls it right into him. The trick is, is you've got to have it here. Okay. Now, if he throws the second punch out, this elbow comes in. We just go back with the strike. So the elbow that's coming in to strike him ends up being the blocking. Okay. So it, it, when he came in, I came here because he's going to jab quick and pull it back. And we're just going to come into the strike. Like I say, for some reason at that time, he did this. We elbow Kaisabaki again and go forward. Nothing in karate kata really works well unless you do Kaisabaki in one part of that movement. Meaning change your body position. The old Master Nagameti would say, don't face your opponent, let him face you. Okay, so what that really means is when we're facing here, we're not both facing head on. We're both in equal position. Why do I want to have uh, this position? I want to be in a superior position aligned to him. So right away, as as he makes his movement, I want to get into a superior position aligned to him. Rather than standing here like this, we're on equal positions. I don't want to give him you know, equal position. So also, Tai Sabaki puts you in the correct position to actually make this stuff work. Everyone's going to try that. Be careful. And remember, the faster you pull that, uh, a boxer's going to be jabbing and pulling that back real quick. Some of them are lightning fast at getting that fist back. You know, so right when you got to get in, he's going to pull it in. And it has to be out wide. If it's not wide, Wing Chun guys do this. They do it with the Fuk Sao. They'll come in here and you pull it back here, but it can slip. A lot of times it'll slip out. With Nahanchi, it's very hard to slip out. They're using this. Real difficult. Slip out usually works it. They want to try it.